friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is javascript top 40 one liners that every developer must know in today's episode we are going to learn how to check if an array or an object are equal now we are going to write a generic function it would it can take either arrays or objects and will check if they are equal or not you need to use this logic mostly if you are working in enterprise applications or any applications which are little complex, uh, have a lot of logical processing in it. So let's get started and see how that works. All right. Okay. But before we proceed, please do hit that like button if you're enjoying this series that I'm bringing and to keep encouraging me. All right. Uh, let's create a new file, JS40 part 7 dot html doc type html tag head tag body tag script all right now we are going to write a function which will check so i'm going to use arrow function because that's what we have used so i'll say compare compare arrays equal or compare variables equal right and we are going to use the function arrow function so I'm going to or you can say where one now this is these are two variables it can be an array it can be an object now what we'll do the next thing is we will compare them now using the single line so we are going to write JSON dot stringify where one and then equal to we'll check right that if it's equal to so we are going to use equal to json dot stringify where two okay now it's going to compare these two variables and give return you the output okay it will be true or it will be false now how do you call it you just pass the data so I'm going to create two to arrays first and I'm going to say one two three I'll skip four and this same way I'll call carry here and two and here I'm going to add four and skip five right so they're not equal basically now I'm going to pass array one array two and do console dot log okay and in finder and inspect and it says it's false because they are not matching now let's try and put the matching values so now it says it's true so for arrays clearly it's working this particular function that we wrote it's working now let's try the same with objects so now you need to have two objects that will define uh, okay creating simple object nothing complex here but will pass different values okay and again use the same function that we wrote for comparison object one comma object two and let's go ahead and run it and it says both are false because this is false because it's not matching this is 5 6 this is 4 6 and this is 30 and 40 so that's false the second one now let's pass the same values in both objects and it's now it's both are true so I have used a simple arrow function and using JSON dot stringify I'm converting them and just doing a comparison this function will give me a true or a false I hope this is clear it's one of the most simplest hack but yet very very powerful very very useful do let me know your feedback in the comment section if you're enjoying this series please do hit that like button for me thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode we'll continue till we reach 40 top one-liners thank you again